today. The Bulldogs of Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University will take on the Bulldogs of South Carolina State University in the Andrew Hugini Jr. Bowl. Find out what happens next on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Manning. Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by University Kia and Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. Bulldog Bay, welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Good evening and welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host for this different 2021 spring season here on the Hill. Coach Maynard, lots of things have happened between the last game that you played and the one you played yesterday. COVID-19 has wreaked a little bit of havoc on the Hill. It has, um, not just on the Hill, but all over America. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of adjustments, a lot of adjustments, a different uh, situation. And uh, you just have to adjust. And... Uh, you have to sacrifice, and our, our team has done a great job, our university, of uh, getting us prepared test-wise. This past week, I mean, we, we tested Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We normally test on Monday and Wednesday, I mean, Monday and Friday. And uh, then we have to check in every morning uh, with the temperature and get a wristband in order to be on campus and lift weights and go to meetings and go to practice and, and go to the cafeteria. So our university has done an excellent job. We have only had two cases since. Uh, January 12th when we when we returned so and only I think only like four or five people had to quarantine so uh, it, our university has done a great job our players have done a great job understanding that you can do everything right and still get COVID so we're gonna do everything right and, and keep our fingers crossed that uh, we continue to do the way we've been doing practice at 530 in the morning coach so your student athletes can make class does that have an impact and if why if so why yeah I mean we try to practice in the afternoon and uh, we just have too many class conflicts. Got guys coming late, and then we got guys got to leave early. And so if you want to be a good football program, you got to have everybody there the whole practice. And so we just go 5.30. We've finished at 7.30 now. All the 8, eight o'clock guys can get to the 8 o'clock, and then they do their weights, and, and they got the rest of their day. So, um, you know, we, we don't really want to practice early, but, you know, again, you got to sacrifice if you want to be good. The predicted finish in the Southwestern Athletic Conference Eastern Division was changed after Alcorn opted out for the season, and then they had to forfeit the rest of those games, so to speak. Coach, you had to wait a week before you could play, and then you had to wait another week, but this game came up kind of suddenly. Yeah, it did. You know, uh, once the uh, Valley game was postponed, it's not canceled, it's postponed to the end of the season. Um, I just felt that we needed to play. You know, um, our guys have been working hard. They've been hitting each other, and they were looking forward to that game. Mm. And that would have been such a demoting blow and take all the mm. wind out of the program and the guys to have to practice another three weeks before we could play. Mm. But more importantly, Prairie would already have played two games. So we didn't want to go in there playing our first game, and they playing their second or their third game. So we tried to find another game. I called Buddy up, and uh, they was able to make we was able to make it work. Well, we had to go there this year. They'll come here next year, the first game. So it worked out good. Uh, we wanted to get a game in. Um, didn't know how we was gonna play uh, because you know you're going against yourself all the time. We know uh, Buddy Pugh always got a, a good team down there in South mm -hmm. Carolina, a great defense and, and a good football team every year. So uh, we knew it'd be a good contest, and we can kind of get a good judgment of where we was at. The Bulldogs avenged an earlier defeat at South Carolina State years ago. Made up for that yesterday, and we will see how that worked out for the Bulldogs when we come back on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Ariel took down enough pins to help win a conference championship. Her mechanics are just as strong in engineering. 
Aiden is mastering psychology on the golf course and in the classroom. No hurdles too high for Raven on the track or in nutrition. Alabama A&M, four years of artistic, academic, and athletic discovery. We deliver the full university experience. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Daryl brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. They're student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs. Fabulous first half by the Bulldogs. You got off to a slow start, though, Coach. How did you get out of the doldrums? Well, the defense just held us in there. You know, uh, we had great field position the whole first half, uh, thanks to the defense. Um, we played the field position game, and they were never able to flip the field. Uh, but we just kept shooting ourselves in the foot. Um, O'Quill got off to a bad start. Um, the first one was a tip. Really wasn't his fault, all his fault. And, uh, you know, as soon as they went up in there, I was like, oh, no, get down, get down. And, of course, they intercepted it, and uh, then he threw another interception in the red zone. <clears throat> and so we were just kind of – we was moving the ball, but we couldn't punch it in because of turnovers, and you know you can't do that, especially against a good football team. Um, and then we got another turnover. The defense got a stop, and so we took a shot, 
and uh, Aquil threw another interception. So he was struggling, and uh, so he just had to settle down. It was his first game, too. You know what I mean? No matter how good you are, you're going to be nervous that first game, especially on the road, on national TV. So he had to settle down, and uh, once he settled down, uh, we started to move the ball, and then not only move the ball, but get punched in the end zone. And uh, we, got a, we got a score, and then we got one more late score right before the half on um, OJ's uh, touchdown in the corner of the end zone. And we knew we had the ball coming out, and so we just said uh, we just settle down and stop shooting ourselves in the foot and uh, take this first drive and go down and score. And that's what we did in, in the third quarter, got up to 21 to zip and uh, continued to play well in the second half. How could you tell, Coach, that you could still be effective even though you were making some early mistakes? Because we was moving the ball. Now, if you look at them, they was going three and out, and they was going backwards. You know, they had third and 18, third and 16, third and 12, and uh, they was going backwards. They was getting, we was getting sacked. So, uh, if you're looking at the game, you're looking at, okay, their offense is struggling. Our, our defense is doing a heck of a job. Uh, now, you look at us, we moving the ball, but we kept turning it over, shooting ourselves in the foot. I mean, we turned it over twice in the red zone inside the 10-yard line. So, uh, we could have very easily, at the minimum, got field goals out of that and uh, we didn't get any points. So that's deflating. But then the defense come right back out and bow their necks and, and make them punt, and, and we keep the field position. And uh, then we finally punch it in, and then we got another one right before the half. We can see, Coach, from these highlights, the effect of your recruiting. We now have not just one special teamer. We've got two. We've got a punter and a kicker. The death on the Bulldogs team is quite apparent. Yeah, that's what you want to do. You want to build depth. Um, you know, if you got one, the old saying, if you got one, you got none. You know, especially at the quarterback position, but that's any position. If you got one defense in, he go down, then you got in, you don't have any. So uh, you want to build depth. You want to have uh, iron sharpens iron is what we like to say. Mm. So we like to have that competition, have those guys competing, and that's going to make the starter play even harder because he knows if he come out or he get hurt, he might not get his spot back. And as you can see, uh, we got a lot of depth uh, at, at the uh, wide receiver position. Um, we feel good about our quarterback position. Uh, running backs, our backup running back was hurt this week, Antonio. Uh, but he'll be back for the Prairie View game. So we feel good about the running back position, and uh, we substitute five offensive linemen there in the fourth quarter. Mm. And so we put our whole second line in, took the whole first line out, and th those guys uh, got a first down or two, moved the ball down, and then we bogged down. And then actually we kicked the field goal with those guys. So uh, we feel good about our depth there. Defensive line, they was, they was subbing in and out the whole game, uh, linebackers and, uh, and the secondary. So. We feel good about our depth, and that's what you got to be to, to be a good football program. So if somebody go down, it's, it's next man up. Coach is just giving you a preview of the second half highlights when we come back here on the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement, but the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Night in Alabama, 
the message is changing. We are past urging people to stay at home. It is now the law. The SWAC, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, has joined a growing list of conferences that will postpone fall sports because of the coronavirus pandemic. But here's the interesting note from this. The SWAC plans for football, including a seven-game conference schedule that will begin with an eight-week training period in January of 2021. him late but watch more climb the ladder with one hand secure the football and that might be a sports center top 10 nominee Zabry and more coming up here for the Bulldogs Akil Glass fires into the end zone has a man and that is a touchdown for the Bulldogs Abdul Fatai Ibrahim State officially opting out of the SWAC spring 2021 football season.
Alabama A&M football review with head coach Connell Mayner. I'm your host, Ted Dixie. Bulldogs are up 14 to nothing in the half, coach, and we get to the second half highlights. We see a barrage of points in the third quarter like you came out under fire from your team. Yeah, we just had a little talk with them, uh, try to calm them down. They was excited, you know, uh, first time getting to hit somebody else. Uh, we're on the road playing the stadium on national TV. Those guys were just pumped up and, uh, you know, it really was the skilled guys, the receivers, the running backs, and the quarterbacks that was making all the mistakes. The O-line actually played good, and those was the young guys. And those were the mm. guys we were thinking of we might make the mistakes, and they didn't. They was very solid, but it was the guys that we were depending on that was making the mistakes. And um, so we just settled those guys down, and uh, those guys knew it. They said at halftime, man, we played terrible, you know, and uh, we up 14. So I just told them, look, the score is 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, we get the ball first. We got to come out and score. And uh, then we're going to get in and score again and put these boys away. And that's what we did. You know, we came out and scored, and the guys executed. They settled down. We got two, uh, two scores pretty quick there in the third quarter and got it to 28 zip, and uh, it was pretty much over then. We saw you took out a quill in the fourth quarter. Coach, what went into that decision? Well, you know, uh, whenever I think the game is over, I, I had to get those guys out. We took um, um, Abdul out. We took a quill out, and then we got Gary Coors out the game. Um, you know, we got to play in two weeks, and uh, this this game was pretty much out of hand. And we want to get our backups in too. We want to see what those guys are going to do, and and uh, against live bullets, and uh, get it, get everybody some game action. You know, we want to mm -hmm. see what the backup quarterback's going to do, and uh, <clears throat> then get some other running backs in the game, get those guys some action because they're just going against ourselves. So we want to see what those guys are going to do under the lights. A couple of questions that emerged from social media, coach. Do these statistics count in their statistics for their career, for your student athletes? As far as I know, they do. Uh, they keep in score. Yes, sir. They keep score, stats <laughs> count, you know. So it, they count. And then secondly, Coach, since the student athletes, the NCAA said they can play this year, not lose a year of eligibility, how's that going to affect recruiting? It's going to affect it. Um, with the seniors, um, it's very simple. You know, I don't know what any other coach is doing. But if my seniors are all conference or they're major contributors, I'm going to bring them back, you know. And the other seniors can still come back. I'm not cutting those guys. Mm -hmm. But if they own money, they won't be able to get it because I got to take that money. I got to go sign some freshmen. I can't just bring back all the, all the seniors and don't sign any freshmen. Mm -hmm. You know, and in three years, we don't have no players. Y'all going to be like, what happened, coach? Remember COVID? <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I brought back all the seniors because y'all was y'all were bringing back all the seniors. Now we ain't got no freshmen, you know. So – uh, it is what it is. You know, like I said, I'm not kicking them off the team, but I'm not going to make this give every senior back their money. I'm going to have to take that money and go assign some young kids. Good job, Coach. Congratulations again on your victory. When we come back, we will preview the Bulldogs' next game against Prairie View A&M right here on the Alabama A&M Football Review. Don't get hit hard with low trade offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere.
great offers. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Check out our large selection of new Kias, including the new 2020 Kia Telluride. Ask for Arthur Seaton, managing partner. We want to see you in a Kia. Go Bulldogs. Again, thank you for watching the Alabama A&M football review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie, the Bulldogs have next up two week break. We've got a lot of breaks here, coach. We go out to Prairie View A&M to see what they've got going. Coach, you watched a great game last night with Prairie View and Texas Southern did a little scouting. Yeah, I got a chance to watch that game on the bus on the way back. It was on ESPN three and uh, both teams played hard. Uh, Prairie View had some turnovers early. Uh, when they could have kind of stretched the lead a little bit and mm -hmm. they didn't they let them hang around. And then um, uh, Texas A&M took advantage of it. They actually took the lead going down the stretch and, and uh, Prairie View showed that uh, they weren't going to quit. And they went down and got a, a late drive and scored and took, it, took the lead. And then they had to put the defense back out on the field. And uh, they bent mm -hmm. a little bit, but at the end they prevailed and made one more play than Texas Southern did. And so, um, you know, I, I saw some good things on, on both sides of the ball from Prairie View. And um, so we, we got to be ready. We got to be ready all three phases, special teams, defense, offense. Um, but one thing about it, we will be ready. Coach Dooley is known as an offense guru, if you will, Coach. Did you see anything yesterday or you didn't think he would show you anything in that ball game? Well, he got to. I mean, he's trying to win a football game. You know, especially when you're down in the fourth quarter, you got to pull out all the stops. And, uh, you know, it ain't rocket science. You know, you can't reinvent the wheel. You know, you're going to spread them out and they put a certain amount in the box, you're probably going to run it. If they don't, you're probably going to throw it or RPO. So uh, the game has changed a lot to where uh, defense kind of dictate what the offenses do. Um, I've been doing that all my life. I've been saying that all my life, Ted. It ain't rocket science. We're going to play the our strength, defense weaknesses. Now everybody else is starting to do it. So, hey, come on. That will do it for this week's edition of the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. The Bulldogs take on Prairie View A&M, not this Saturday, the Saturday afterwards, two Saturdays from now. Bulldogs will be back on the field. Please check AAMUsports.com for any information regarding the Alabama A&M football team. For Coach Maynard, I'm Ted Dixie. Thank you all so much for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Bulldog fans, thank you for joining us today for the Alabama A&M University Football Review. Bulldog faithful, we encourage your support and participation. Until next time, go Bulldogs!